today, we want to have a look at trigonometric ratio. Trigonometric ratio in right angle triangle. So, this is a fourth week scheme for year 10. That is SS1 in Nigeria. The scheme for the fourth week in mathematics. So first and foremost, we need to have a look at right angle triangle. The right angle triangle has this symbol, this symbol, this corner piece. If you don't see this, then do not assume that it is the right angle triangle. That means it is not. Now, the side that faces this angle 90, because this is angle 90 degree, is called hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. And is the longest side, as it is obvious. Now, this side, I will name it vertical. Vertical. Yeah. Vertical. And this side, I will name it base. Okay. So, we have a formula called Sokatua. Sokatua. S stands for sign of the given angle. Sign of the given angle. And that will be opposite, which is letter O over hypotenuse, which is letter H. But because of the fact that the, um, I'm using vertical and base here, so that means I cannot say this is opposite or hypotenuse yet until I decide on the angle I want to use. So cosine will be adjacent over hypotenuse. And then tangent will be opposite over adjacent. Now, let me label this angle. Let me call this angle alpha. And let me call this one angle theta. So if I'm using alpha, that means sine alpha. If I'm using this angle, opposite will now be vertical. Let me use V for vertical, B for base. Okay? That means it will be V, and let me use H for hypotenuse. So opposite to this angle, alpha is this, that is the side facing it. Vertical, which is V, over hypotenuse, which is this H. Then cosine alpha, I'm still using this angle alpha, that one is adjacent. So adjacent will now be the base. Since this is the opposite to this angle, so this one will now be the adjacent, which is the base. That will be B over hypotenuse, which is H. And term alpha will be opposite, which is vertical, that's B, over adjacent, which is base, B. But if I decide to use this angle now, instead of this, that means sine theta will now be, this will now be the opposite. The base will be the opposite to this because it's facing this angle. So take note of how to choose opposite and uh, uh, adjacent. So that will now be B over hypotenuse, which is H. Cos theta will now be adjacent, which is vertical now, because once the base is opposite to theta, this one will be adjacent automatically. That will be V over H, which is the hypotenuse. So definitely term theta, which is opposite over adjacent, that will be B 
over v. Now, let us observe something. b over h, b over h. You can see that these two are the same. v over h, v over h. You can see that these two are the same. So what does that mean? That means we are saying that sine alpha is equal to cos what? Theta. And the sine theta, which is this, is equal to what? Cos what? Alpha. So in a right angle triangle, sine of one angle, one of the two other angles, is equal to the cos of the other angle. Why? Because alpha and beta, these two angles, are complementary angles. Are complementary angles. So take note of that. Are complementary angles. Okay. So since uh, alpha and beta, I mean, and theta, sorry. Since alpha and theta are complementary angles, that means alpha plus theta is equal to 90 degrees. Why? Because two angles that add up to 90 degrees are called supplementary angles. Sorry, I meant to say two angles that sum up to 90 degrees are called complementary angles. Complementary, not supplementary. Please take note of that. Complementary. These are examples of complementary angles. 20 plus 70 will give us 90. 45 plus 45 will give us 90. 10 plus 80 will give us 90. So think of any two angles or any two values you add up together will give you 90. Those two are complementary angles. Okay?